Hello everybody and welcome to the Chimera, uh, Chimera Cast short review. Uh, this is not a full length episode, but we're going to be reviewing a mod that was released yesterday, recorded this October 15th, but a mod called White Knight was released for Amnesia the Dark Descent and us being relative... Oh wait, no, it was released on October 12th, never mind. <laughs> Crap, but uh, us being fans of horror, or at least me, sort of Luke, <laughs> we thought we'd pick it up and give it a whack, and we're going to be reviewing it, so White Knight is the what's a, so, essentially the story. It's You're a psychiatric patient who's been accused of murder, and uh, whether or not you did the murder is what you're trying to figure out. Murders, I believe, as there is multiple bodies he's encountering in his mental... Uh, extravaganza into unfriendly waters. He's not having the best of times, I would say. <laughs> like, nice. so the entire hospital's run down. It's Denver State Hospital, and this guy named David, I believe, is being put through a mental test, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be a pretty good assumption of that. But the the story wasn't all that okay the story was pretty good it was, it was interesting for sure I'll, I'll give it that but as for the storytelling like the actual arc of you following the story in this mod and just like get like feeling like you want to get involved isn't all that great there was there was zero arc well, basically it's just kind of like one flat line in, in a way, oh, well. yeah, actually, yeah, you're right, I, I, essentially, basically, uh, it's just, there's no surprises in the story, there's no, uh, even, it's almost, what's a way to put it? It's almost draining. It feels like some vampire is, like, sucking the willpower you have out of you. <laughs> Dang, that's intense, but I, I wouldn't say that for me, but... For me, I'll I'll give it this that the it just yeah there was it just didn't have any sort of change. It was a it was a very pretty static story, as far as I'm concerned, uh, because this mod is focused on story. Apparently, it said White Knight is a total conversion mod for Amnesia that it focuses on mostly storytelling. So, uh, in terms of story, um, really good. I, I like the story. Storytelling wise, not so much. It's just they they went about it in a wrong way. I'll say that notes they're fine, but they there's it, there's something about it that I can't quite put my finger on. Like maybe it has really good ratings from the community, and I don't know if people are gonna like this review. But as I, I'm a, it's just interesting story wise. So let's move on to like other things. Uh, visuals were in absolutely incredible with this mod. For an Amnesia mod, this is like crazy good visuals. It, like, this is nuts for a mod. They're, they took it to, uh, to the next level, I think, in, in modding for Amnesia. Uh, basically, it's a total conversion. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was really good, but... I don't know, it almost seems like they made the story too long. For me, yeah, they dragged uh, the game out for a while. It it, it seems I swear this this mod could have been a lot better if it was shorter. I think I think that uh, by dragging it out, they stretched it thin in terms of involvement and actual. They filled it up basically with things that I didn't feel like it needed to be in there. Like, for example, there's a relatively long. <laughs> uh, segment that you had to get past this passcode and crap, and there's just stuff that's never explained, like the monsters. Well, okay, the monsters are sort of explained, but honestly, another thing that I didn't like very much was that they had puzzles. Granted, the attic, uh, one we reviewed earlier, that one had pu that one. No, it didn't have puzzles, did it? No, it didn't have any puzzles at all. But this one didn't have very good puzzles yeah the what were okay what were the puzzles consisting of basically number tricks okay there's passcodes that were in the puzzles uh 
pretty uh, cliche sort of puzzles uh, for amnesia. You had to get a crowbar, find the item, kind of thing. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes it's cool, but in terms of amnesia, which is really actually a lot about physics, uh, physics is a big part of amnesia, and there wasn't a lot of physics puzzles involved in this mod, which I think they sort of missed out on. My favorite thing is you get to throw stuff at a wall and then something pops out. Example, crowbar. Yeah, you throw rocks at a wall and it bursts crowbars, apparently. <laughs> so someone had a little too much fun with that. Uh, let's... There's also a, an irk that I had with this mod, is that there's no clear antagonist or opposition. So what was the antagonist or opposition that you could point out right now? Go for it. Insanity. Huh. All right. G explain to me this, because for some reason I just felt like there was like no real like clear hindrance or uh, villain or anything in the story. Well, the ultimate goal was to overcome your insanity and to remember, but you they basically plaster that all over the entire game. But I don't know. There's no clear. There's no. There's not an end goal that is really accomplishable. Like, like in Half-Life, it's like, all right, stop the alien horde. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I just want, I just want video game or a story where the motivation is clear for a villain or opposition wise. Like, for a good example of this is, uh, I really think that it's pretty obvious in, let's go, let's go with Star Wars. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Rebels, good. Empire, Bad. Demolish Empire. That's, that's why I. <laughs> that's why I joined the French Resistance. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I'm Viva sure you did resistance. so much. Oh, what that was, you? Think, that was a lie. What you think we we failed? No. We're just. Yeah, I don't know history. anything about history. Involved. All I know is that that lacked. This game lacked a lot, but it, the visuals were great. Astounding, really great, but I swear they might have even focused on the visuals more than the actual gameplay. Gameplay, blah blah. So let's go through final uh, ratings and talk about these more in depth. So our first rating here is the scare level, which is important in a horror mod, even though it's not as totally horror this mod, but it's definitely horror in it involved. So the scare level, I rated it a six. I gave it a three. Ah, okay, so why? I thought the scares it, were relatively done well, actually, for me. It anyway. wasn't really scary. Well, it was, but it wasn't like... I don't know, I, I guess I kind of am judging it as a shock factor. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but it wasn't really scary. It was intense. Scary and intense are two completely different feelings. Intense is when you're waiting for a scare. Scary is when you're actually being scared. The, this one was full of intensity it wasn't really scary though okay I'll say that the scares that were in the mod were done relatively well but I just they're they're still not like scared like Nightmare House 2 is probably the epitome of mods scare wise I think it, they pulled off really nice scares in Nightmare House 2 that I think was balanced really well between psychological and shock same with amnesia the dark descent those both those two examples are the best and this one, I mean, it's not the worst, at least for me. Can't speak for, for Luke, but I think they were done all right. Maybe I was looking at it from a developer's point of view well, as myself. How's this? I'm, I'll come right out and say it. I'm not, in general, a fan of horror. I'm the kind of guy who'd play, like, okay, Blood, Blood, Zelda. They, they, yeah, like Zelda, or they drop you off in a location from an airplane, go blast the uh, communist spies. Okay. That sort of thing, but I'm I, yeah I don't know why, but I really like horror. <laughs> I think horror uh, nowadays is the new kind of adventure genre, whereas in like, know. well, okay, I'll say this in adventures you in the day back like okay maybe it, back in the day okay I sound old back in the day, uh, they didn't have horror, they couldn't really scare you so, but. What they did have was find the key, find the items, blah, blah. I'm transitioning back to Young. And I, I like the sort of find the key, find stuff, even though the puzzles weren't relatively done well in this mod in that sense. But I think I, I'm a fan of that kind of thing. So I think that horror 
nowadays, you can find a lot of that in it. That's why I think I like horror. I don't know. I think you like it more because action genre has radiated a lot less from RPGs and gradually slid towards the more online multiplayer shoot your friend with a rocket launcher sort of thing. It's a lot less about a amazing storyline so much as it is a fun multiplayer to get keep players to continue playing. And mind you, that's fine, but honestly, I'd much rather have a really, really good story. That's for sure. So we're going to keep this moving. Uh, the story rating, I gave it a 7 in terms of story. I gave it a 6. All right, so we're relatively even on there. The reason I gave it that is because the story was great, but as we, I think we mentioned earlier, the storytelling was pretty bad. So story, good. Games can have great story, but have but be ruined by bad storytelling, and or they can have a bad story and be absolutely uh, just improved by the, their storytelling of this bad story. But um. You so know yeah, what could have made the storytelling better. What? Voice acting that didn't suck. <laughs> uh, yeah, the voice acting wasn't the best. Like I said, I hate to sound harsh and nitpicky about the mod. I'm a, I'm a fan of mods, but I don't. I just nobody <laughs> knows my screen name. So, uh, Greg Griffin. Sorry. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the yeah okay I forgot what I was talking about. Let's just move on. <laughs> so the compelling slash pacing ratings which is basically your drive your motivation to keep going and the way they kept the balance of all right you got to keep them interested by fight scene fight scene or like run 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 then mellow out and then run 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 but keeping it perfect i gave the compelling slash pacing rating a three i gave it a two all right so it there was pretty bad i felt literally almost no reason to continue for some reason i certainly didn't like i mean <sighs> It's just, I feel so bad about this, but Did like, we, it's just, n there's just no, I felt no drive to continue in the mod. There's just no real specif specific reason, because I didn't even know what the final motivation was. I know I was trying to figure out if I killed all these people and regained my memory, but I didn't care, because I don't know about myself in the first place. I have to get this off my chest, sorry for not letting you talk, but I hate I hate the very I hate those mods or games that are like you wake up not knowing where you are <laughs> kind of or who you are. They're, it's just so cliche nowadays, and I really think that we need to stray away from that kind of a, or a mindset in these mods nowadays. I don't know. In mods, I can't say for sure because I'm relatively new to them. But as far as video games goes, if you can do that right. Oh yeah, of course. If you can pull this off, more power to you. Do it. But if you can't, don't even try. Because you either get this right in this kind of a thing, or you get it entirely just wrong. And I think in this case, they definitely lean towards the wrong side in terms of just the way they pulled off the... <sighs> now, I was, I was kind of harsh before, and honestly, I'm feeling kind of bad about that now. But I said what I had to say. Now, as far as compelling go... Goes. The reason I gave it a 2 is because, honestly, for whatever reason, towards the end, after you've spent so much time in it, I got the urge to just, you know, find out, alright, is he insane or not? Yeah, it's just like, get this over with. What's going on? Come on, come on. I want to find <laughs> out. I'm so, sick of running through hallways that mean nothing to me. Like, why am I running through the morgue? There's no, <laughs> there's no story catch. It gives you a lot of random memories that make absolutely no sense. Yeah, well, I, it's like I, again, you said. It's it's. It, they could have gone about those in a better way. Just yeah. there's ways of doing it without doing that in a bad way. Uh, now, on to now that we've totally trashed it, let's go on to uh, something that it did amazing at and go a little more in depth. Visuals. Graphics. All right. Graphics wise, this mod is a total conversion of amnesia, which is crazy, because this, I think it raised the bar visually and the atmosphere was great it was amazing it felt the atmosphere was really good the music fit very good the music was f perfectly fine very creepy the they just did texture work they did models i swear some of it was from penumbra but 
if it is whatever they they made it good tiles textures it just yes. looked really nice even if you're taking it from something else if you can make it work do it yeah yeah as long as there's permission but i don't think you can in this case except the numbers of the game but blah blah they the set pieces were nice even if they didn't feel needed sometimes <laughs> like a few of them were unnecessary yeah but whatever they did they made it look good and i more power to them for that they made they did a really good job visually i think and i'm a i'm a fan of their visual art whoever did this uh the t guy named tan shadar uh if you if i'm sorry if you're not liking this review if you're listening to this maybe but visually good job dude <laughs> but pat on the back here's the problem visuals do not make a game I go back every once in a while, and I play one of those old... Ocarina of Time sort of things. Yeah, not even Ocarina of Time. Even older than that. Even Doom. like <laughs> No, not Doom. I've honestly never played that. I mean like Zelda. Most people won't know what I'm talking about, but... What was it? Zelda, A Link Through Time sort of thing. Like, where it's just old side-scrollers. Uh. The graphics weren't what made it amazing. It was the gameplay. Gameplay was amazing. You can have an absolutely amazing game with absolutely crappy graphics. Now, mind you, you have to have relatively good graphics, especially in this day and age. Especially for a mod like this, where you're supposed to be immersed, you should definitely have very good visuals. But that's not overall the main thing. Not saying that this the visuals were the main thing in this mod, but uh, just a good sort of base for future mods. It's, it, the visuals were really amazing, I have to say that. So, uh, Visuals, I gave it a 10 out of 10, actually. Honestly, I gave it a 7 because I didn't really notice. Like I said, I don't focus so much on graphics. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a mod developer and I'm mapped for Amnesia, and I have to say, they did a really good job. So, on to the final one. Probably one of the most important ones, next to story. <laughs> the rest end compelling and pacing. Uh, gameplay, the big three. Story, compellingness, and gameplay. So, gameplay-wise, I gave it a 5 out of 10. I gave it a 4. Alright, and why is that? <laughs> well, gameplay is just kind of everything overall. As far as amnesia is concerned, this kind of involves exploring, looking around, finding all sorts of things like that can help you along. What I got from it was, it was, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good. That was okay, but I don't know. It doesn't make you want to have more gameplay. How's that? Ah, that's, the good game point of, that's a good way of putting it. Actually. The gameplay wasn't fun enough that you wanted more of it. You wanted it to end. So in this case, the, <laughs> the, the, yeah. the uh, storytelling, the compelling, kind of ruined the gameplay for me. Ah, yeah, it's sort of... All these things are interlaced, that, and each one affects the other. It's... So if the story and the compelling are bad, generally I'm the gameplay is probably going to be bad. Generally as a as a rule of thumb. And the basically the gameplay consisted of meh puzzles and one good moment. I'll say one good moment was you were trapped in a cell and all of a sudden the, this monster started searching the cell block and you had to run. Uh, or hide in certain cells or something. So that was one of the good points of the game, I think, in terms of that. But everything I, else... I, I would have liked to see more of that sort of thing. Yeah. It's just there wasn't enough ac sort of kick to it. You, like, you can't just have something flat with no intent... Like, they have plenty of intensity, but no... Like, reason. It's like... This intensity. It's like one of those dogs that says, Beware of dog and it gets like down on its haunches and it growls at you but doesn't do anything but it doesn't do anything like you're expecting it to do something but then it doesn't and eventually you yeah, just the signs kinda... are everywhere but it's a chihuahua <laughs> <laughs> Event or even if it's big eventually you just kind of start ignoring it because it's not you, it, it's never attacked before so yeah, there's only two i think in count well, okay there's more than that maybe like four five but it's not one of the main points of the game so overall just the final rating, what would you rate? The White Amnesia, The Dark Descent, White Knight. Uh, I don't know. This is a hard one because I don't want to be too harsh because it had some really good points. But, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, it's not as bad as we're making it. Okay, I mean, 
We're making it sound as like just, but mind you, our views weird. are different. Uh, we're not gonna lie, and we're definitely not saying that. That's just because I'm a story hog. There are plenty of people I'm sure who just absolutely love this mod, and I can see why. It's a very good mod. And I'm trying to take their views into account. That's why I'm having a hard time rating this. Yeah, it's just... I don't know what happened with <laughs> me oh. personally, but I just... I didn't like... Oh, overall, I didn't like it. Same here. I'm going to give it a 5 as a final score. I will give it a... 6. I think I'm going to give it a 6. Alright. I usually... I, I think it was... It was... Bad, but not. It wasn't four horrible. out of ten bad. I think, right. and I, I'm, I'm sort of not in the middle either. I think I'm more towards good, but I don't know. I think I'm going six out of ten. This is one of the few situations where I'm going to be a fence sitter. Most of the time, I'm either going to hate a mod or I'm going to love it. <laughs> but in this case, I'm going to sit on the fence. It's a very different kind of animal. Uh, and I really think they did some really innovative things, visually for sure, that people are going to find hard pressed to come back up on in some areas. But there, there was things that were lacking about it, particularly the drive, because yeah. gameplay I don't care really all in all. But if I don't feel I need to keep going, why should I play it? So, I think that wraps up this review of The White Knight from the Chimera cast. We are a podcast group that reviews mods mainly, uh, any kind of mod. Uh, send your emails or any questions or suggestions uh, to chimeracastfans at gmail.com, and we might read your email on the show, depending on if it's a good question. We'll answer it on the show, that kind of thing. And soon we'll have a website up with longer uh, podcasts on you it better not you're... you better not ask something like does a soda cap bottle fit in Avery's belly button we will not answer that <laughs> i don't remember trying that was it that one night oh well whatever so that sounded really creepy anyway all right <laughs> anyways onward silver thanks for listening to this episode of chimera cast short reviews my name is Avery Fisk or dread isle i am uh luke you don't need to know the rest, or Gray Griffin, uh, signing out. You guys have a nice night, day, whatever it is. Just make sure it's not a white night. See you next time. Bye.